Hi, this is Emily of Beauties and Head Canids. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Baxter Colburn, host of Verse of the Day here on Public House Media. Thanks for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with that episode, I hope you'll come and check out my show, where I take one Bible verse every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I provide practical examples of what it can be in your life. We have guest speakers that join the program every Wednesday, and there's always something new to learn about your walk with Christ. You can stay up to date with Verse of the Day by subscribing on Apple Podcasts or on publichousemedia.org. Thanks again for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. It's not the load that breaks you down. It's the way you carry it. Lou Holtz. Welcome to Choose to Rise today, where we're going to be talking about 12 stress-related habits, things that you can do to reduce that stress. Welcome to Public House Media. Welcome to Choose to Rise. My name is Kim Meyer, and I am so glad that you're here with us today. And if you want to connect with me more after the show, head over to choosetoriseup.com, or you can also find us on Choose to Rise Up on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today, we're going to be talking about those 12 habits that can help you reduce your stress. It's not the load that breaks you down. It's the way you carry it. And those, the way you carry that stress, the way that you kind of react and respond to the situations in life really dictate how you live, how you, how you have energy, how you respond to certain situations, how you react to things. And so today I want to give you 12 little habits, little things that I've done in my personal life, things that have happened for other people that I've helped other people with that I want to help you relieve stress. Okay. Relieve the things that are causing you anger. Relieve the things that um, are, are holding you back and, and holding you down and so that you can live the life that you were intended to live, so that you can rise up out of your current struggles and live your best life. So it kind of breaks down to four main habits, right? To do stuff that feels good, to build some healthy habits, to uh, restore yourself mindfully, and to let your home runs go crazy. Woohoo! Let's like have a dance party and all those kinds of stuff. All right, let's kind of start at the beginning. Do stuff that makes you feel good. That's how you relieve stress, right? And so you can go um, on the digital, you can get it on your smartphone, you can, you can, you know, plug into things that are going to make you feel good, things that are going to lift you up, up lift your mood, you know, get into good positive stuff like this podcast and other good books and things like that. You can plug into a community of support and encouragement, but they also can unplug from things. Another tip is to just unplug from digital digital uh, resources and unplug from the internet like people who there is research out there that uh, people who are heavy internet users are five times more likely to suffer from depression but I would argue against that and say that may be, that I mean that's science that may be true however it's the things that you plug into that matter so when I have found myself plugging into the news when I find myself scrolling the Instagram feed or the Facebook feed and finding negative things um, those are the things that bring me down like that's what start start to think about and like think about how um, you know oh my life could be bad too if I if I have these fears that come into my heart and mind but when I unplug from those things and I plug into positive things and I plug into my community of support when I cl- plug into to my friends and my mentors and, and positive, uplifting things, worship music and all of that kind of stuff. When I plug into the positive things, more positive information is put into my brain, more positive emotions are evoked into my body, and I live life better. I do things that make me feel good. The second thing you can do is read a book instead of you know, scrolling a social media feed. All of us, a lot of us would say we don't have time to read. I, myself included, would say I don't have time to sit down with a book. I'm a busy mom. I'm a busy businesswoman. I'm a busy wife. I'm a busy everything, right? But instead of, um, you know, scrolling this Facebook or, you know, uh, what I'm thinking, a habit I've done is start to sit down with my kids and read. They're independent readers now and they should be practicing the reading on their own, which is awesome. But that 20 minutes that I require them to sit down and read, I sit down with my book as well. The other thing that I do is plug into audio books. So even when I'm busy doing other things, I can still get in information from my mentors, still get in information from everyone um, that fills my cup, right? And they they say that 60, stress has declined by 68% just after five minutes of reading. Isn't that crazy? I think it's the calmness of the activity. And so I might not be getting that 68% stress reduction by walking around my house cleaning and listening to a good book. But when you sit down, you can just calm your body, 
really focus on what it is that you're doing and, you know, reduce a lot of stress that way. The third thing that you can do that that do something that feels good is to engage in a creative activity. Just 45 minutes of a creative activity lessens the stress in the body. You're kind of releasing the the anxiety, releasing the things by getting going forward um, with doing something positive for yourself, doing something positive for your community or your environment, or just, you know, that's why they create adult coloring books now, right? (laughs) Because it's a stress relieving activity for you to do something creative and to kind of outpour yourself in those kinds of ways. The next kind of set of healthy habits is to build healthy habits, right? Make something that that is good for your body part of your daily non-negotiable list. Eat foods that reduce stress like avocados and lemons and even dark chocolate, um, oatmeal, almonds, all of those good things that are have those like vitamins and minerals and nutrients that are going to be stress antioxidants, um, adaptogens in your body. One thing, one reason why I drink my superfood chick every day is because it has amazing adaptogens in it that help with the stress reducing situations. Also, exercise every day. I come to you every single morning to do this podcast, to do this live video after my workout because that's when I feel the best. That's when I feel the most energized, and it's the time that I have the the best mood because I have taken at least 20 minutes of my day and gotten my heart rate up. I push my body to do more, and it helps me build strength and endurance and just makes me feel good with all those endorphins running. And the third thing that you can do to build up a healthy habit is to get your sleep under control. REM sleep, when you are dreaming, decreases the stress hormones in your body. So when you can get into a deep sleep and you can last that street, that length of sleep out to seven, eight hours a night, that's when you're able to get a healthy body rejuvenation. That's when your your systems are really able to kind of reset and re-get going. And then you can wake up refreshed and wake up feeling good about who you are and what's happening. Now, the third set of kind of chunk of habits is restoring your mindfulness. So like these kinds of habits are things that are going to help you kind of just relax, bring peace to your life, right? So maybe you focus on your senses at just a few minutes a day, sitting in a comfortable position. There's um, a strong correlation between positive mood and breath counting. There's positive um, correlations between uh, relax and meditation, even just a five minute meditation that where you can reduce a lot of anxiety and stress and just built up tension in your body by just listening to the thoughts in your head or just sitting comfortably and letting things go in and out. A lot of people want to um, clear their mind. They want to just sit with empty, with an empty head, like not think about anything, not let their mind wander. But I was listening to a podcast re- recently and reading in a book as well about how letting your mind do that wandering is actually better for you than trying to clear it. Like you're actually able to release stress. You're able to relax more fl- fully when you're not trying to like push out things, when you're just trying to let it things go, right? So when there's like, what kind of like when you are trying to create a dam in a river, right? There's pressure against the whatever's trying to hold the water back. But when you let the water free flowly, f- flowly free, then that's where there's less tension and less um, stress in the situation. So when you're able to just sit calmly for even just a few minutes a day and let your mind water, wander, wander breathe uh, clearly and just count those breaths and really just focus on being yourself and focusing on releasing this tension and stress, that's when you're going to be able to get the most bang on your buck for it. Another thing to restore yourself mindfully is to spend some time outside. Focus on the beauty that God gave us, right? It, it decreases anxiety by, by watching yourself look small in a huge situation, um, by looking at the beauty of the trees and the birds in the air and, and all of the, the beautifulness that's outside around us. Now, for me today, um, it happens to be bitterly cold outside, and so, but I'm still going to try to get outside because I know that God created this beautiful earth and that I'm a part of it. And when I can interact with it and I can spend some time outside and get some sunshine on my face, then I know that I'm perfectly and I'm perfectly made for him and his journey in this world. And the third thing that you can do is to take more baths. (laughs) Being horizontal in water kind of mimics the womb conditions and improves your mood and optimism. Now, uh, if you have a bathtub like mine, mine's kind of short and I'm kind of long, so it can not necessarily be the best situation, but taking baths really does relax people. And like whether it's super hot water or just lukewarm water, it doesn't really matter. It's just about the the situation of just relaxing and being present in the moment. Maybe that's the time that you get your focus sense uh, of your like meditation in. Maybe it's time where you just sit and relax and you're away from the kids after a, a long day. Totally up to you, but those are three tips that you can do there. 
The last one is let your hormones go crazy. And you might be thinking, Kim, that's crazy. What are you talking about? But I'm saying let those endorphins run, people. Get into a dance party, uh, laugh, smile, interact with things. Be a part of your life with your family and friends and interact as humans in face-to-face situations. Having a dance party, whether it's dancing to a musical, maybe it's an impromptu dance party in your living room with your kids, having a dance partner where you're going to a class, all of that releases endorphins and promotes self uh, stress relief. So making sure that you're getting active and moving, it's kind of one of those exercise things, but in a fun way, right? And the second one is laugh your head off. Laughter releases lots of hormones to reduce stress, boost immunity, and strengthen social relationships. And when you can, they always say laughter is the best medicine, right? Because it's true. When you're able to be happy, and you're able to be positive in the situation, laughing just creates a sense of community and it creates a sense of just relaxedness and it's just a good thing for you. So laugh often, find a way to laugh every single day. And the third one is to pet your pet. It increases stress, increases levels of stress reducing hormone oxytocin in your oxytocin, sorry, and decreases stress hormone hormone of cortisol in your system. That's why they have therapy dogs. That's why they have therapy animals because it releases the tension in your body. When you can love another uh, individual, when you can love on an animal in that kind of way, that's when things get, you know, you can be part of a situation where you can just love other things and let go of your struggles and your stress because there are uh, things that are there. Um, And so those, hopefully those 12 little tips this morning help you be uh, better in your stress relieving activities. And you can make sure that you are, you know, living life on a, in a good way. And that when you know that the load that you carry doesn't have to drag you down, but you can release some of that stress and you can carry that, that load in a new way. And it was positive situation. And if you, you know, you've liked the show today, if you want to learn more about uh, Choose to Rise, if you want to hear more episodes, head over to choose to rise, um, dot com and connect with me there. Or you can hit subscribe in Apple Podcasts or Podbean and make sure you hit all of the old ones in the past. And make sure you leave a rating and review when you get there because it helps more people find Choose to Rise. So I lo- hope to hear from you and connect with my listeners. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you again here next time as we get rocking and rolling with some new healthy tips to help you rise up on your current self and live your best life. Bye.